222-6397. This is Property Source Radio. If you have any questions for Warren, if you're facing foreclosure or considering a short sale, we're taking your calls live today. I'm Brenna Hartman, the Fixie Chick. We've got open lines. Okay, that brings me to my next question, too. Uh-huh. Warren, how do you see the market conditions in the Rochester area? I think you just led me into it by your last statement, but I wanted to kind of solidify that overall. I mean, market conditions being home sales, how they're going, maybe future trending. Uh, I know you, you probably want to talk about the tax rebate situation. You kind of wrap that into a nice nutshell if you want to, or take a segment of it, however you feel comfortable. Yeah, tax re- rebate, in my opinion, like I always have just my opinion, yep, is yep. that it's uh, it definitely helped within a certain price range. I think anywhere up to the 135 probably price range has been very, very good and help, helping with the maintain the prices. But okay. once you start getting above that, you start getting into the 200,000 range, it's definitely getting a little shaky. It, okay. The prices are getting harder, and there's not as many buyers out there right now in that range. Okay, so I'm dorked because my house is much higher than 130. So, <laughs> but but I do I do have to interject and say, uh, my cousin just sold his house the other day, and uh, his mom's a realtor, so that's why I didn't call Warren. Sorry, but um, his house was. <laughs> Thanks a, for clarifying that. Yeah, thank you. Um, his house is a one bedroom, or excuse me, two bedroom, one bath home with a one car detached garage, and he had seven people with offers. Last this past week, seven offers come in at a hundred and twenty four nine list. Mm-hmm. And I thought to myself, wow, times have changed. But in fact it's not. It's probably that tax rebate. Is it am I wrong? It's a hot price range to be in and okay. also if the property is in moving condition, people yeah. will well they'll line up to buy them right now. You've got oh. a lot of buyers in that price range. Okay. So if it's a decent property, you'll sell it. Okay. It makes sense then because yep. I know his home is in very nice shape, et cetera. But yep. I just was flabbergasted by the demand on so a two-bedroom. is our cousin upgrading or what's going on? Yeah, another child I think on the way and upgrading. Oh, nice. Moved to Pittsburgh. Nice. Or is moving to Pittsburgh, I heard. Oh. That was the rumor I heard the other Excellent. day. Excellent. So, yeah. so you guys can be in walking distance of each other. I was in walking distance before he sold his house. I haven't seen him in uh, two years. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Oh, um, but anyway, uh, let's get back on topic, shall we? Um, Go for it. I wanted to ask Warren something because it's uh, it's probably prevalent with a lot of people that watch TV or whatever, talk to other, you know, just in the normal, you can buy a foreclosure. You yeah, the guy's the, sitting home on unemployment. Yeah, yeah, riding it out on his easy chair, right? Yeah. He's swilling back a 40, and he sees a commercial. <laughs> his right? initials are... <laughs> He sees a commercial on TV. It says, I can buy a CD or kit or whatever to purchase foreclosed mansions for about $380. Should I buy this material? Call an agent. <laughs> call a reputable agent. Call me. What the okay. heck? You know, I mean, you need to call someone. You don't have to pay for any of that information. It's all available to you for free. And I, it, it is. That stuff is usually a scam. Uh, I know someone who bought some of the stuff that I actually work in with right now. And it, it's all outdated materials, most of it. And, you know, because everything changes day to day. Uh, houses sell all the time. So any material you have to wait a week or two weeks for, it's outdated. <laughs> so all mm-hmm. the, everything that's available, your agent can help you get it. For free. For free. Well, yep. call, what's Warren's phone number? Warren, what's your phone number? <laughs> it's uh, 507-3624. So if I'm in the market to check out the local foreclosed homes, yep. rather than call an 800 number or whatnot, I can just call a local realtor like yourself. Absolutely. And so, uh, and get, get that list right up in there. You got it. I mean, yeah. we do HUD homes. I have keys in my briefcase to get you in a, a lot of those properties. Perfect, because so. Brenna and I were just going to start a business tomorrow. <laughs> We start a new business every day. Yeah, you should yeah. hear the one we started this morning before the show. Well, started. no, let us tell. Let me tell about the business we're starting tomorrow, okay. and then you tell right. about the next one. All right. All right. Tomorrow morning, we're calling you, Warren, because we want a list of homes that are that I can buy for three hundred and eighty dollars a piece on a foreclosure. Okay. <laughs> can Can we do that? Can we accomplish that? And then turn them over for like three hundred grand a piece. Can we do it? Because I'm going to get rich by Wednesday. I'm telling you. <laughs> All right, everybody's got to understand the banks are not going to just let these houses go for free. Okay. It's, it's The deal is they're going to have them appraised. They do a thing called the BPO. I do those for banks also. It's called Brokerage Price Opinion. They want to know what the value of the property is in the area and what any adverse uh, situations for area, the boarded up homes or the sisters or that. They want to know these things because they want to know what the value is. They're not just saying, oh, yeah, it's okay. I'm going to give it to you for $300 even though we owe, you know, uh, the debt to us is two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, you know it's just not going to happen. 
Yeah, they, it's a reasonable number is yeah. what they sell. The homes yes. the banks let the homes go for, a reasonable number. They want current market value. Yep. Okay. So are these short sale homes or foreclosures even deals or what? Yeah, you can get some good deals. You just It's it's not like for the lack of work, though. You definitely can get some good deals. You just got to know what you're buying. Sometimes, you know, if it needs a lot of work, you're better off walking away because it could cost you more than buying something that's already in moving condition. Yeah. You can get a great deal on a move-in condition yeah, home. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead, Brenda. Sorry. Well, I was just going to say, <laughs> actually, I probably shouldn't say it out loud. I was just thinking about myself trying to fix things up, you know. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, I'll take one of those things and gut it. <laughs> uh oh. Cock and paint. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, some of us. duct tape. <laughs> I've actually, in my real estate experience, I've actually seen a lot of homes that did go up on foreclosure and some did not and they and they needed a lot of money to put into them so you really have to know your numbers or at least get some guidance maybe a realtor i don't know warren seeley might be on the straight and narrow he might be able to guide you down the right path but, you know and into a safe island and buy the right home whether it's a foreclosure or not instead of you know oh i've got to buy a foreclosure kind of save money because i know where i people have been hurt by that right and yeah when i go through uh what some of these homes with people i start doing a laundry list with them you know, most of these homes, mm. a lot, I shouldn't say most, but a lot of them need roofs. Roofs are an expensive deal. Yes. Especially if it's got to be a full tear off. I mean, you can be talking 8000 and up. Yes, that's why they don't get done because people that are yeah. not making the payments can't make the $8,000 payment yeah. on a roof. Um, but what, uh, what, were you going to say something? Yeah, I want to take a break. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. I wasn't sure about that. Brenna Hartman here with Pat Coin and Warren Seely. Stay tuned to hear more about foreclosures, short sales, and more. More Property Source Radio coming up after the break. Check us out at PropertySourceRadio.com. Save your money.